Hello you guys, the kid from the UK here. Well, exploring random places because that's the channel I am on right now. But anyway, I thought I'll do a bit of a exploring random places video because I am in a random place. So I'm actually walking to Solon Coat from my hometown, which is Woodville. And um, I see that it's very good scenery out today. It's the 27th of December 2017, I'm recording this video and I don't know what time I'm recording it at, let me check my phone here. Um, it's actually 10.30am I'm recording this, so that's the time we'll go from then. Anyway, let's continue walking down here. If you, if I zoom in over here, you can see like, you can see all the puddles and stuff. That isn't meant to be there. That's a big flood puddle, I think. Don't know if that's meant to be there or not, but I don't think so. Anyway, let's continue going down. I'm actually walking in white shoes right now, so it's not a very good um, idea. Um, walking down here white shoes with mud not the best so let's talk about a story then uh, I got a story for you years ago that I was talking about years ago I haven't been to a Charminders in years I used to go to a Charminders and I had a mobile phone when I was like seven years old and I was in um, primary school and it had internet it had text messages and you know phone calls and stuff I also had a phone number but the childminder did not approve of the um, concept of myself having a phone with text messages data and phone calls on it so this is what my dad did because she didn't approve so every night he used to log into my Vodafone account and actually went into the parental settings and disabled phone calls, data and calls. So when I go there the next day with my phone, the childminder couldn't moan about the um, calls, text messages and data. Because I had uh, like a shitload of data on my plan. I never used to use it all. I used to be on a pay-as-you-go Vodafone account. Not a contract. I didn't go on contract till... Um, earlier this year it was October actually I went on contract that's the first time I've ever been on contract I've always been on prepaid or pay as you go or whatever you call it so yeah not really an interesting story but I thought I'd come out with it yeah that's what dad used to do log into my Vodafone account so the charm minder didn't moan because obviously he wanted me to take my phone just so I'm entertained, so I can play on some games, or I can, you know, basically do whatever I want, change settings or whatever. But the child minder didn't approve, but so my dad disabled it. It's still caught, I had a service, obviously, and it's still caught like the little 2G symbol, because obviously back then, there was no such thing as 3G. I'm talking about seven years old, no such thing as 3G. It was all it was 2G back then, so that yeah, that's how long ago I'm talking about. And obviously when I had the iPhone uh, 4, because I didn't finish going to a Charminders till I was like I think I was 13 when I eventually stopped. So it's been about two years now. And when I had the iPhone 4, and obviously it was on a different network. Oh my god, there was a war for like about um, six months about my phone usage, why is the data never being disabled anymore, the text messages being disabled and all that. And obviously we couldn't, so my dad had to unlock the phone and we had to go back on Vodafone. Because I was on EE for such, such a long time, I put my phone number to EE because I brought... Um, I went to EE and actually got a blank SIM card and put my phone number over and obviously I had to port it back over to Vodafone 
when the um, child minder didn't approve of it again so I had to it came up with 3G because obviously 3G came into light had the little 3G symbol had a service but I couldn't use the data or couldn't use the phone calls or anything and I'm talking about when I didn't have any when I first had the phone and I had a chance to download any apps yet so yeah that was a bit uh, weird <laughs> And I had the iPhone 4 until I was like, oh, what age should I stop? It was actually 14 when I stopped using an iPhone and moved to Android permanently. I had a Vodafone Smart Prime 7. I had a first 7, then a Prime 7, and now I have a Samsung Galaxy S7. So I've only had like a few phones in my life, but obviously on the kind of the same network I'm on Sky now and obviously I've changed my number quite a few ch times since I left the, that child mind I must have changed it like 10 times due to bullying at school and other reasons leaked on YouTube and all this other stuff so I do have another channel and I do manage another channel so I have to be kept very careful because the other channel actually has about 13,000 subscribers and your phone number being on that channel plus you got fans from a previous show she was on but she's going back to that show now not a very best of idea and I have a feeling that the person the other person on the other channel I manage um, is going to change her phone number because <laughs> She won't be able to keep up with the calls anymore because the phone calls are going to raise to the roof when she the first appearance she makes back on the show. And just to note that um, I'm going to have to mention it. The angry grandpa passed away, so obviously she's going back to you know do a legacy thing. Basically, she's she's just going there to keep the legacy alive. That's all. She's not going back for any other reason other than that. Which I respect. I don't approve of it. Due to the fact that all the bullshit that she's had. And I know this is a swear friendly channel but this is just the ones I will. You know, all the crap she had from them. I don't approve of it but obviously it's her choice to do go back anyway. I can't do anything. I'm going to respect it, you know, I'm going to support her and once something turns for the worst, I swear to God, he's not, she's not, well not Tina, I mean Michael's not going to like the outcome of this one because she's been fucked over too many times. Anyway, I'm back on the street now, I'm going to go and I'll see you guys next time, bye!